people sitting up here around church one day. Just like a lot of you. And I know what it's like to feel invisible in your life. I know what it's like not to feel important, that nobody values you or believes in you. I had a little of that growing up, and I definitely had it all of my adult life. I even have it sometimes now. But I definitely had it when I was sitting up there. And all I wanted when I was up there, just like so, I wanted somebody to see me. How many of you relate to that? Somebody see me. See my family. I just want you to know one thing. It's awesome all these people winning that are up here. It's an honor to high five them. And I hope that I get a chance to high five you someday. That's why I wanted to do what I just did. Right? I want you to feel what that feels like. But your value to us as a company is not just your production. Just so you know that. Not all of you are going to be up here someday. Not all of you are going to make it next year or the next year. But if you stay long enough, you're going to be up here. But I want you to know something. You're valuable to us because of the way you're attempting to live your life. That you're about our mission and our crusade and our cause. And it means something to you to help another human being. Can I get an amen to that? Say yes. yes. So you are not a number to us. You're not just some production or a code number. You matter. Listen to me. You matter. I want you to know something from many of people. Ask me all the time. Why do you take every picture? My wife asks me that all the time. Why do you do that? Because I know what it's like not to be seen. And I want you to know something from me to you as a friend. I see you. We see you as a company. And it's just a matter of time if you stay here and you get an opportunity to be up here. And the whole world will see you someday. The whole world will see you. So I want you to know something. We see you. We believe in you. Listen to me. You matter. You're not invisible anymore. You're not invisible to us. We love you. We care about you. And we're proud that you're with us. We're proud that every day you go out trying to change someone else's life and trying to win for your family. And if you do this long enough, someone's going to see your family. Your family's life's going to change. Your life's going to change. Do you feel that? Say yes. yes. I want you to know you're loved, you're cared about, you're believed in. And I wish I had time, but I want to say this. I'm so proud of our company. I'm excited about all the new things we've announced. Man, you're leaving here with some real stuff. And it's going to get better and better and better. I want you to go play offense when you get back. Don't be on your heels. Be aggressive. Lead with some confidence. Believe in yourself. Believe in the company. Believe in the leadership in here. And believe that someday the world is going to see you. They're going to know you. And that you can change your family's life forever. Amen? Say yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to introduce our guest speaker. That's what I'm doing here. <laughs> no, I can't keep going. Sorry. No. Yeah, keep going. By the way, once you hear our guest speaker, you'll be glad that I got out of here. Trust me. Look, I love you too. Thank you. Um, our guest speaker is a friend of mine. I'm um, kind of a Uber driver in some ways. He flies on my jet for free all over the world, basically. That's what he does. Uh, he's a good man. Uh, he's a champion. You ready for this? This, this man has been in five different Olympic Games. Three gold medals in snowboarding. All-time record of medals ever in the history of the X Games. Most gold medals in the history of the X Games. One of the most decorated athletes of all time, one of the greatest Olympians of all time in snowboarding, by the way. He's not too bad at skateboarding, and he's a heck of a surfer as well. But on top of all of that, the reason I'm so grateful that he agreed to be here as our guest speaker is that I've gotten to know him over the years. He's kind. I've been with him, I've been at a Chipotle with him. When people come up to him or I, and he sees people, he values people. Human beings are not invisible to this man. You'll feel it instantly when he's out here. This is a good man. We want to surround you with people who see you, who believe in you, who care about you. I want you to understand something, this environment matters. This company has a soul, it has a spirit, it has an energy to it, and you feel it when you're here. You need to bottle this up and plant your flag. And when you leave here, when times get tough, when you get down, when people reject you, when they try to tempt you, whatever it is, you gotta bottle up what you have right and say, no, I planted my flag, this is where I'm gonna make it or I'm not gonna make it. But if you stay long enough, you're gonna make it and someone's gonna see your family. Our guest speaker sees people. He doesn't just won medals, he's changed other people's lives. So I'm so honored to announce that he's coming up here and he's being interviewed by the great Johnny Merriman. And I know all about it. I know a little bit about interviews. Did you guys put this thing up? I want to leave it a 
gifts and I don't get to speak. I can't get to speak. If you download that QR code,